Oh, hang on. I don't I need to, don't I need to change like the category and shit? Oh, uh, what are you playing? Oh yeah. Uh, it'll be in there. There we go. Manage stream. There it is. It's stupid. You know, I wanted to be able to do that before I start streaming to change the fucking thing. Uh, right. So edit stream info. Um. I'm gonna go for a quick small while you set up there. No. What's it called? No, not. What's it called? Uh, new, okay. New tricks for old gods. Is that it? Hold up, hold up. New tricks for old gods. Right, okay. New tricks for old gods. Done. Okay. Right. Don't get rid of that. Uh, okay. So where's the fucking URL? Uh, yeah, I'm typing the fucking tweet. I don't even know uh, what the uh, URL is. Hang on. HTTPS twitch.tv slash epictus. I hope that's right. Tweet. Is that right? Looks like. Nope. Nope, that's wrong. What the fuck? What the fuck? Channel. Right, let's do. Well, apparently it doesn't exist, so let's just, let's just redo that. Hang on. No, it's not working for some reason. Let's. Uh, fuck's sake, you awkward bastards. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is just going to take a little bit longer than anticipated. Uh, plus. Bam. Alright, grab this. Come on, Twitter, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, copy that, close that, delete that. Right. Paste that. Copy that. <clears throat> Paste that. There we go, try that. There we go, that seems to be working this time. Right, okay, so. Whew, what would hard work? Right, here we go. So, let's see how this game goes, shall we? 
So I've pressed play and that's the only thing I've done. I've no idea what this game is, how to play it, what it is, anything. And just now give a quick small. Right. So do I click? Yes, okay. The day starts the same as any other, with a voice easing you awake and reminding you of your inoffensive authority approved designation. Hashtag two three nine no. 238894F. Okay. And it must be the morning, because that is because that is what the all knowing voice tells you. Okay. You wouldn't be able to tell any differently under the steel struts and neon ceilings that mark out your world of mostly closed in and narrow horizons. Jesus Christ, how much text is in this game, DK? Rarely does the sky peep through the gaps in the shoddily built apartments, hole-in-the-wall eateries, stalls and shops. Fucking hell. It barely gets a chance to peek through the orange miasma of smog, smog and clouds visible in the outer city. Row begin with. What? This whisper in your head is your trademarked dream where... Your own authority is appro approved subconscious and conscience. Welcoming you gently to your labour assignment day. Okay. Hashtag 238894F. Ah, it's easier to read that version. You have been deemed acceptable by the authority to work as junior administrator. Okay. Make your way to the Labour Assignment Orientation Briefing in the Administration District. Okay, fucking hell. Via the Beam Me Up, Scotty, South South East, local station 17G, your allotted NRG train leaves in 20 minutes exactly. Is <sighs> that me? My first day as a part, as, as a part of Productive Society. I made it. Mumbling through a plastered-on smile, you are anxious for the Dreamware monitors to record and report on your abundant enthusiasm. Okay. Is that... <sighs> However, can you be sure that not even a drop of disappointment flavoured your tone? Do you really want to be an administrator? Not really, no. Yes, I mean, yes, yes, of course I do. You do. Me. Twenty minutes. Got to hurry. Final test for my pun of my punctuality. Fucking hell, how much text is this? Memories of your unpunctual four par at the antisocial thought is terrorism seminar <laughs> still aren't you? This is this is nearly as long as the books in Skyrim. Only five minutes late, but five minutes of deviant time theft was enough to put you under suspicion. Stop procrastinating. Oh my god, what what is going on? Public safety announcement. On sur jour coverage throughout the day to mitigate unacceptable elements. Energy theft is on the rise. Do not leave designated service spaces without the grey hat approved escort. Hashtag 238894. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Have a productive day. I need to find time to apply for an appointment, to book a ticket in order to apply for a time slot to upgrade my cyberware. Fucking hell, is this just text? My internal Jules battery has been leaking or something. Well, I have had it since I was knee-high to a grasshopper, after all. You are very kilojoule inefficient, KJ. Since jewels are the currency, you operate at a disadvantage compared to the authority lauded hotshots. Oh, well, that's good to know. In olden times, this text just keeps going. In olden times, toxic people would have called you such a thing as lazy. How do you wish? No. How you wish for a true excess of jewels, though. To have energy, enough to enjoy luxuries and recreation, would really improve your quality of existence. This... Is it? Are oh, we done yet? <coughs> oh, oh, choices, choices, choices. So much to think about, too much. Could anyone blame you for catching five more minutes sleep? Think positive, think energetic. You must spring out of bed, ready, willing, and able to tackle the day. Let's get out of bed. We've been in bed long enough. Let's get up. I don't want to be late for the NRG train. I'll take the underway. Cut through the crowds to make sure I get my allotted slot. 
I've turned the music off, so maybe there's something missing from the game that would be there otherwise. I can't... I just can't wait to be productive and efficient. A role model for all. Now, that did sound sincere. I really should probably put the sound back on, shouldn't I? But it was really loud and it was like, do I really need this? Have we got... Well, we've got op options down here, looks like. Preferences? Here we go. Let's pop the music back on. Just have it just like about about there. Is that is that all right? Arriving at the NAG station, breathless, you curse your faulty cyberware. Instead of prepped, you feel pooped. At least you got here though. Network down, hood shutting down, KG's low. KJ's low. Oh, there is a lot of text. As always, the buzz of MTB's molecular transportation beams resonates, giving off that concerning impression of being slow grilled or radiated. Of course, the authority was very quick in dis dissuading people of such hypochondriacal notions. Everything, as ever, is perfectly safe, unless citizens, of course, act improperly. Generators and batteries work constantly on producing and storing enough jewels to transport workers at the speed of light. That's pretty quick. However, it takes a good dozen minutes, if not more, to reach practical power levels. One of many reasons to be on time and catch your allotted train. But the signs are not good. Let me move this microphone a bit closer here and let's just check this out. Let's just check the uh, levels as well. Because I did not expect to be talking. Oh, not not as much. Let's knock the volume down a touch there. There we go. That should do it. Let's bring up the desktop audio, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks reasonable. Okay. But the signs are not good. The station should be crowded. Announcements should be blaring from loudspeakers and internal info mics. My train! I missed the NRG slot. Look at those lucky workers shimmering away. In a few moments, they'll be producing and administrating their at their, at their designated place of, place of production. Warning. Jewel count low. Your dream wear, state-approved subconscious and conscience, will power down. Oh, dear. Earn your jewels and power up. And now my damn hood's running low on jewels. With faulty hardware, it's always a delicate operation to balance earned and state-provided jewels with those of your own. A good citizen should devote the majority of jewels to enhancing the well-being of society. Of course, rather than on selfish individual pursuits benefiting one person, I agree. This is something you still need to improve upon. I thought that was me talking, and now it's saying me, it's saying you. So is it me or is it you? I don't bloody know. Alas, fatigue soaks into my very bones. I'm digging into my own KJ supply already, just to supplement my body wear. Still, another NRG train will be powered up in a little while. I'll just have to work extra hours to make up for time lost, even if I drop down exhausted. But, surely, my new colleagues will presume I'm not, I am, antisocial at the outset if I arrive late. Could this day get any worse? Ow. Hey, someone barged into me. A multitude of curses assail me. Am I being punished, singled out as a potential or actual bad influence? Okay. Strange man. Beg your pardon, young one. Care to help an old timer? I have no jewel sockets or pockets. I'm too old to walk to commercial sector 19H. I have no cyberware. Incompatible, you see. But everyone else just ignores me and pushes by. I'm looking for a decent, one-of-a-kind cyber saint to help. Please authorize my journey on your hood with a nice little fizz of jewels. Hmm. I barely have enough for myself. It's not efficient to use what I have you have on someone, something benefiting one person. Sorry, old timer, I'm off to produce bureaucracy for the greater good of us all. I'll help, but I can't see. And 
abandoned citizen. I'll help, but I can't stand. I can't stand to see an abandoned citizen. Look, you need to get somewhere installed, or else the Grey Hats will arrest you for miscreancy. Quickly, quickly! I need to get to work. Hmm. He's not got where, and everyone's supposed to have where. He doesn't look particularly. Uh, Jake, is he? No, he's not getting it. No, I'm sorry, old timer. Please, else I fear the nanites will chew up, chew, chew up a technophobe like me, sonny. I'm old and scared. Help a veteran out, or else. All oh, right, what's this about? Oh, yeah, I think he's a fraud. Fraud, leave me be. It's strange, you feel no sink teeth sink into your skin. It's like that more is nothing but an illusion. Anyway, a physical attack would be chastised violently by your cyberware. No, it is your heart that skips a dozen or more beats due to sheer terror. You collapse, you're run down, this sounds like I'm dead. A run down dual battery inefficiently expending all power reserves trying to stabilize you. Unfortunately, your crappy cyberware doesn't hold a charge enough for that. You will prove useful. You will prove useful though when the grey hats pick up your corpse. Yeah, I'm dead. Another costume tale for those who live off grid or let your jewels run too low. It is a noble thing to give your life a propaganda. Congratulations. Game over. What the fuck? Goblin, ending nine of eighteen. Okay. <sighs> well, I'm not reading everything that goes before it again. I'm just going to click through till we get to the uh, choices. Let me just move this thing out of the way. This is a weird game. Yeah, good morning. Yep, 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 I'm getting out of bed again. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, keep going. Okay. Right, okay, so this time we're gonna help. You let me keep my dignity. I didn't have to beg or ask twice. For that, I'm sticking an extra protection protocol on your forthcoming gift, Sonny. Oh, thank you. You have no time to ponder the cryptid ramblings. You need to hurry. Okay, I'm downloading KJ's for, for that NRG train over there. To the commercial district. Oh, I made it to the, I made it to the commercial district. Downloading KJ transaction. One outbound trip. NRG train. Empty. An odd feeling hums from within. Is that your battery leaking? Oh jeez. The dual price of a trip like that should only be minimal since beam cost is spread amongst the multitude, multitude of passengers. Blessings, young soul. You are a generous follower. Charge me up and I'll take the NRG train. But first, feel around in your pocket. I have gifted you some nice savvy upgrades. Okay. Somehow, he has already slid something into your pocket. You don't have time to examine it now. Probably just some sentimental, valueless value trinket. Still, it shows how grateful the old geezer is. But what about that huge chunk of jewels that seems to have gone, just gone missing? Yeah, it's a good question. Hang on, where have all my jewels gone? What old world hospitality. Bless you. I am savvier than you think. An overwhelming stench assails you. It's a damp, rotten smell that curls into your sinuses and makes your eyes water. I'm not going to die again, am I? If only you had fragrance filters or that new aroma wear installed. But the smell is not the worst thing. Never have you seen such ugliness. Nobody. 
nobody of proper pro-social standing would ever allow themselves to appear in public, lacking any beautification mods, especially not if you look like that. What? What, what are you? Is this what being really, really, really old looks like? Get some cosmetic wear, please. And what happened to my jewels? We already asked that question. Remember, not everyone wishes to beautify themselves. Not everyone is built to stand an issue. I embrace what I have created. It is mine. Must be off. I feel the energy train turning my molecules to order. Oh, it scintillates to my belly of bones. It feels like magic. Have I gone here where, of all my wares, decided to go kaput at once? Stories abound of corrupted wares, particularly the faulty ones, slow to upgrade because of the omnipresent threat of malware. Victims allegedly suffer a whole range of symptoms from delusions to grandeur to, to, to delusions of grandeur to hallucinations to complete new shutdown. Just rumours though. You shouldn't have to worry. The grey authority is all powerful. Its omnipresent AIs have thought out every potentiality. Everyone is perfectly safe as long as they are pro-socially predictable and do what they should be doing. I just don't get this game at all. My omnipresent AI! What by the great authority is happening now? Unbelievable. A total pay of power failure. Marvellous. Blackouts. Nobody talks about it. Chat room snippets. If read in the millisecond, they existed before deletion. Hint at black hat attacks, obsolete infrastructure, or lazy citizens producing a deficit of jewels. What it means for certain, though, is that authority surveillance will need to be re established. The Great Hats will be marching to will be marching to all unpowered utilities to monitor events and search for undesirables. And I don't have any jewels. They'll think I am a miscreant. Got anything here now? I'll have to use my own starch made calories for power. I guess I better walk to the administration district. I might be able to top up at work. It'll take hours to get there though, through the understreets alone. <laughs> right, here we go. Best to leave and avoid all grey hats. I must get to work as soon as possible, even if I have to take the understreets. I should leave right away, take the longer, safer way. It'll be very late, but at least I'll get there. It is my duty as a citizen to report that old man. Maybe he had something to do with it. After all, the coincidences are uncanny. Hmm. Because I don't, I just, as I don't know how the game sort of works and what anything means, how do you know which is the good option? You really don't. I don't want to take the under streets though. I know that much. It sounds bad. Take the longer, safer way, or report the guy. It is my duty after all. want to report him because he's put something in my pocket, hasn't he? So if they find whatever it is in my pocket and it's something bad, then I'll probably die. I'm going to take the longer, safer way. You are so late! Surrounded by offices and dim lights, powered by backup generators. Nobody has come to greet you for orientation. What do you even do now? Drone! Security precautions needed particularly because you are late. The scanning field works you over, rolling the data of your very essence through intricate security protocols. Standard procedure, but still unsettling. I've set the alarm off. Fucking great. Oh my omnipresent AI. Why? Hold on. It's the fucking thing in my pocket. 
It's only a basic drone, mass produced. You could move quickly, confuse it, run it, outrun it, then go and hide in the under streets. It wouldn't be too surprising if the damn drone has malfunctioned either. Everything goes kaput during blackouts. Run now. Or wait for someone to explain this nonsense. It's your duty to work, not to run. Nonsense, in fact. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. There is no explanation. Something about you has marked you as marked you out as dangerous. Suddenly, a whirling sound emits from the drone. Oh, jeez. During your final breath, your mind fixates on that old geezer and what's he slipped into your pocket. I knew it was something to do with this, what he'd put in my pocket. Game over. Drone, the end of one, ending one of 18. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this game. I'll skip. <sighs> I've got to sleep for more. Fuck them. This is your dream where I'll fully remind you that you already carry a time theft warning. Any further instances will result in your repurposing for the social good. That's fine. I just don't want to meet this old guy. Isn't it? it isn't time theft, it's just been energy five more minutes only. You see, will I still meet the old guy? Hmm. No, I'm going to take the five minutes and probably die. <laughs> <sighs> I think that all my friends in the AI it was all a dream. Is this my room? You're really not right here. Oh, Jesus. It's seven of nine. Who is that? Am I hurt? Oh, you are up, says the doctor. The Grey Authority thanks you for your service. We would like to award you. Don't try to talk or move. It won't do any good. You are fortunate. You are to be promoted. Ooh, promoted. To be a real help to the greatest society. Such dedication. If you've decided, you will join the Grey Hat Network. Ooh. It'll not take long now. I've made all the necessary arrangements for your cyberware. Oh, jeez. Have I made the right choice? It feels empowering once the shock wears off. You can see all over the city, thousands of places at once. You can hear millions of conversations. But then you feel your mind slipping into the milieu of banal everyday life. Bit by bit, you disappear into a larger hole. The last memory, oh, I'm dead, I'm a, if your individual self will ever remember, will be a wall of static. Yeah, that's A stupid fucking game. Skip. <sighs> now I'm gonna try and sleep again this time, and then I'm gonna get up this time. Skip. Oh, he's still there. done that. I haven't done that. But it's just going to put some shit in my pocket again. <sighs> so the same result. I can't feel around in my fucking pocket. Skip. Right, so I've got to make that choice. I've got to report him. I'm going to report him. 
Because if I go anywhere, I'm going to get fucking caught. So let's get me reported. Oh, fuck's sake. It only takes a few moments longer for a grey hat to emerge from the darkness. A deep unease settles in your guts. Oh, jeez. You are guilty of time theft, loitering suspiciously and lacking dual coverage. You will come with me. Sorry, I'm on my way to work. I just wanted to report. Silence. Any word or action that delays or contradicts my suggestions will result in immediate reprimand. I'll just comply. Prepare for clemency. A harsh, stinging sensation chokes your throat and eyes. Help! Everyone has left the station. Experience has taught them to avoid the grey hats at all costs. You can't keep your eyes open. The muscles relax as your soul screams at them to run. Get out. Do anything. I'm dead again. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, that's a bit of a weird one. This is my room. It's the doctor again. Skip. Yep. So that goes to the same fucking ending. Skip. I'm just going to get up then. Skip. Both of them are no good. Both of them lead to empty. I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? Skip. Right, so I'm going to take the under streets then. My first day of labor, so I'm going to wait for orientation. Am I deep, deep down antisocial after all? The horror. I know I shouldn't cut through the under streets to no man's land. It gives me the creeps. Faulty everyone. Worst of all, faulty people. The malady of bad lighting and the powered down state of your body wear leaves you hazy-sighted. Hazy -sighted. Unease, unease comes naturally in these urban ones. Layers of degraded tech under even older tech crowd every periphery of your vision. You are literally caged in by junk-stitched eyesores. Malware ridden nanites infest every nook and cranny while Trojan signals bounce between buried antenna. Something else doesn't feel right. First you hear breathing, breathing turning into whispers. You are not alone. The air boiled by the humidity and flavoured by flavoured with rust is charged with menace. Inky shadows merge into a wall of bad intentions. Barbarian black hats looking for prey. Great. Street gangs who have purged social personality matrices from their minds. Unproductive thugs. A deep sinking cold spreads inside your chest. What's more, soft stuff that comes fuck come to a stop behind you. Oh, my only present memory, I am surrounded and dead. You're startled by the scrawny green man, yet dare not take your eyes from two black hats in front. Sneaky antisocial hackers and murderers, all of them. Scanned in bro, basic level, basic drone level bodywear, currently powered down, a fool and a lamb to the slaughter. Splendid, young squire. You have stepped off the beaten path into the dark ages. I'm Al Alaric. This big mean lump is Attila. No hashtag digits for us. This way, oh lord. What his minuscule vo vocabulary is trying to articulate is that you've got to pay a toll. Need some fizz pop. Give it to us now. You've read and absorbed many news feeds about these outcasts and all use ice walls to continuously block attempts by grey authority to locate or track them. Some horror of horrors rip out their authority sanctioned bodywear and install dodgy conspicuous knockoffs. They call it freedom, but really all the black hats do is steal hard earned, hard -earned jewels. Now with the grey hats in another part of the city, without any monitoring of this section of Under Street, you truly are vulnerable. Alaric is putting away his cigarette. There is a calm malice behind his eyes. You have no idea what his cyberware is capable of. 
first stares like a wild dog who gets his powerful friend is boosted by cyberware. His left arm appears to be a complete modification, a weapon for sure. You smile weakly, considering your opinions. Tough, com uncompromising, put them in their place. These people can scan for weaknesses, monitor heart rate and body temperature, burn your adrenaline, make them think you're a rabid under street warrior too. Plead poverty, you don't have any jewels to spare. Just those you died, yeah? Those of you died yesterday, the old fashioned way enough for today only. But that old fart back at the station gave you something, you could give them that. Yeah, let's do that. Just give them whatever they put in my fucking pocket, that bastard. What the fuck? Luckily he doesn't use his cyber arm, just a warning then. Hold on there, Rats. I'm sure he's coming to his senses. Now, Squire, chop, chop. Tribute or tribulation, your choice. You ruffle around in your pocket, finding a slim piece of plastic. Here, take this. It is a data disk filled full of the best upgrades. Behind you, the woman interrupts. Disc shows up all kinds of warnings. A dirty disc. A little lamb is put on his wolf's clothing. Wants to poison us. Oh, fuck's sake. No, way. I didn't know. Someone gave it to me. Now, that is quite improper. What a lack of respect, I dare say, young squire. Me thinks you shall pay the toll by way of entertainment. Well, I can't sing or dance. Or act. I am a triple non-threat. I can owe you from my wages. I start work today. The small one's eyes flash with mischief. Bile flushes into your throat while your ham heart hands away at your ribcage. You gag, almost throwing up. None of that. You shall plug into this. You shall plug in this tome of malady for our amusement, and consider yourself lucky. Else, you can continue this discourse with Tilla here. What do you say, Tilla? Ow! Metallic taste tingles across your palate. Imbeciles, you quite simply don't know who you're always messing with. You're not a fighter, Attila is not a talker. Better do as they say and hope for the best. I'm gonna hope for the best. There's no way you can tackle these two, three, including the lady behind. They're bound to have nasty augments great for fighting, intimidating, and robbing. Best to play along. Here goes nothing. Clicked in his past the mirror, you barn his lamp. Man, the great central authority send my prayers to the firewall in the sky. It's not connecting, I'm fine. Oh, I feel discombobulated. Now that's not a good sign. I'm corrupted. an awareness of something rather than an actual feeling but you know that code is being rewritten inside your wares. Drivers are updating or upgrading. It is terrifying. I hope you'll be far more than two more, you shank, Steve. You cool is the madness. That was rather disappointment, pointing. That's give me another bloody good wallop, fuck's sake. Wait, leave him alone. Oh, hello. Thank goodness. Scamper away, sis. Just get off it. Cut off his retreat. No, oh, Alaric, I'm scanning him. It's all so odd, so interesting, maybe even prophetic. You've all read the message boards. I am I still going to get to use my fist? I've been building up to a building up a charge, big charge. Shh, let me think. She stares at you intently, though in fact with whatever manner of cyber scanning tools she's installed in her skull. Sophie, you're laughing at you! Ooh, you're shimmering inside with data, nanites, and applications, unnamed things. I feel different, like, I don't know, like I'm connected, but disconnected all at the same time. Okay, there's been rumours, speculation about fate choosing a drone worker, tooling him or her up. The chosen one, the hero, the prophet. The Singularity Virus made manifest. Okay. Oh, nonsense, of course. At least mostly nonsense. But let's test it out. Listen, concentrate on protecting yourself. A 
tell you, give this lost lamb a thunderous jab. It will feel so good. Thank you, thank you. You, think about protection. A shield. Um. She used to play games, let me go. No, this is my end, but okay. She was on a plan. Maybe she isn't just using me for entertaining before my. Go ahead, let's do it. Here it comes, I will smash you into electrified smithereens. Think, think, think about an energy and physical force field by the power of the great centralized authority. I have the power. Okay, seemed to work. It worked. No, unfair. I will smash you until there's nothing left. Ah ha ha. Relax, you pop a generator or something. So unsatisfying. What an amazing feeling. You are moulding the world around you, pulling at the coding embedded in signals and nanites inherent to everything here. Have you become a superhero or a god? However, behind the adrenaline is a thin layer of... <gasps> Shame? Something going towards seems to be happening inside you. Rudy, stop winding up, my man. What is the meaning of this? Shh, Eric, it is the prophecy. Just go with me on this. Our bread's landed butter side up. Don't shush me. We should all shush anyhow, else the grey hats are drawn to us. We can get back to those ass hat zombies. I mean, asbestos zombies. We can get back at those ass hat zombies. At least the local ones. You see, what we have here is a hero, a Trojan horse. Flattering, I'm sure. I once saw a horse and it spoke like people. Come with us, just as this evening, powerful or not, you are still in, at neophyte levels. We don't want to have to force you. Believe me, I can. Let's listen, with their evil eyes, she'll warp your little drone mind. I'll just top off your agreeability, just to be safe. Whatever power you have, you certainly are not invulnerable. Through the dizziness and urge to vomit, you find their argument compelling. At least for now. I guess I am no choice. <sighs> getting tired here. I better die soon. Uh, with the grey hearts spread out, this sector is a prime target. Oh, sorry. With the grey hearts spread out, this sector is a prime target for us. Alaric has already found their control system in a little tucked up corner. He spent days finding out about it. Me and Atta thought they got him. That they got him. Never. Anyway, now is the best time to strike for the freedom of all those these under, in these under streets. Oh, oh are we present AI? Oh, that's a ticket. I'll tell these grey hats to me. Oh. Ooh, I mean, that must be, must get me some pro-social points to rid the city of a few black hats. They might upgrade me, maybe. Perhaps even assign me to some non-drone labour, I think is my initiative. Oh, I'm not telling the grey hats shit. What have I got to lose? A few hours of venturing in the under streets will give me that dangerous edge that costs so much. If you purchase a personality module, maybe I should get my antisocial... Let my antisocial element drive. Fuck it. First, first we need to charge up the jewels. Oh, with your new companions, you weaves your thread like through thread like alley, alleys ways ever deeper into a corroded hive of dense encased shanty burrows and wild roaming malware. Even casts a purple neon shadow along the understreets. Well, any time of the day, really. These places never see natural light. Disconcerting how empty of people it all is. A city-wide lockdown must be in place. Are you ready to be a villain or hero? <sighs> Upgraded you might be, but something feels wrong. It feel like an ill-fitting jigsaw piece is being forced into place. 
some incompatibility issue is well grinding down something inside you he fucking wrote this text ahead you see a knot of grey hats their armor brimming with heat emitting security wear oh shit they are primed for conflict here comes your moment of action what giant cyber butterflies ramp up the nerves in your stomach I can feel the heat from their suits it's making me sweat perhaps this is a bad idea Stiffen your lips, Squire. They are the enemy. If you'd ever been up close, face to face, you'd know the grim truth. And they have spied, and they have spied you with us now. Never forget a thing. These drones on the cheap asbestos zombies. I'm so charged. I'm gonna burst like a bomb. The air is thick with nanites. Think up something, Lamb, to counteract their heat suits. Be creative. Impress me. I'll creep up and assassinate them. My special move, see? Pop off the hats and brains. We must keep the zombies looking at us. Let Rick do his sneak thing. Hey, zombies. Huh. Now you see him. Now you don't. Rick is like a, Rick is a cyber ninja. He knows some big words for this stick bastard. One of the grey hats steps forward. You find it hard to breathe as adrenaline rolls through your veins. Booty rests a hand on your shoulder. Booty? <sighs> Shh, calm down, lamb. Just wait. I'll tell you when to weave your little cyber spell. Then we'll wipe the grey hats from these understreets. Oh, God, here we go. Healthcare worker, hashtag 231456F, alias... And this is Booty Cat. Booty, guilty of possessing mind hack malware, bio, and cyber hacking. Theft, robbery, suspected murder, off grid transients, gang affiliation, antisociality, extremely dangerous. Labourer 233421E, aliases Attila, Atta, Atz, guilty of GBH, brutality, non payment of TV licence. <sighs> Bad boy. Murder. Off grid transients, gang affiliation, antisociality, extremely dangerous. Unassigned mink miscreant, Generation E. Aliases Alaric, Ricky, Rick, guilty of hacking, fraud, trespassing, theft, robbery, gang affiliation, murder, non payment of TV license, O2 license, and H2O license. Off-grid transients, extremely dangerous, whereabouts currently unknown but suspected in the vicinity. Administrator 238894F, labour truant, guilty of unpowered HUD. Unsocial behaviour, gang affiliated, negligible risk, accepted collateral damage. Oh great, thanks. You are all guilty of unproductivity, of committing actions and possessing motives unconducive to the social good. Accept reassignment to Security Central or sentence shall be passed. Of course, we'll go with monitoring biological reactions. You are lying. Commence system purge. Knew it. He's going to open up his offences in order to purge our so called bad personality coding. Every atom of our and their being will be obliterated. Leaves no trail, you see. But it'll expose the grey hats. The heat will burn most of their protection in the seconds before they explode. When the heat peels the skin from your nose, do your thing on the mannequin. It feels like you've stuck your face too close to an open oven. The news feeds often mention brave grey hats enacting their purge functions, destroying themselves to remove the worst antisocial elements. The grey sludge has really hit the proverbial high speed cooling fan. Oh, my omnipresent AI, my eyebrows are toast. Alaric shouts up from the understreet. Do we Jack Frost that devil heat before we choke on the stench of charred hair? Hmm. Defend yourself with the magic shield, after all, you know how that works. Summon up the only image of extreme cold you have, a contained blizzard residing in your faulty smart fridge, and transmit it through the nanite thick air. I think. We could use the shield, but it won't work against this because it's not its not a physical thing. Well, it is a physical thing, but it's not like a punch. So I'm going to go with the fridge. 
in front of you, a billion minuscule vacuums drain the heat from countless particles. Any hint of moisture in the heavy headed humidity solidifies. It worked! Makes me want to stick a carrot in its ass, on its nose. Like one of those old seasonal cards. Spreading cold emanates through the tunnel, leaving a frost scape reflecting ghostly purple neon. Ooh. Atta! Not a moment to lose! Thunderous cross of judgment time! Rah. Die! <laughs> Bow! Rumbling like a minor earthquake, the shanty constructions around you creak and wobble. Residue sparks shock your twitching muscles. Attila is magnificent! No one can beat me! We killed him? Her? Oh, omnipresent AI, I'm a murderer. How has it come to this, killing a grey hat, a hero of the authority? These barbarians have kidnapped you and forced you to do this, haven't they? You can't really come and kill a zombie, lamb. Alaric, come on out. I see you spark those greys already. Ooh, that's a bit trippy. Look at what's under their hats. Brain, pure brain replacement. Maybe they're right. If that's what the Great Authority does to its heroes, then maybe death is the preferable fate. Oh, me present hollow AI. That's horrible. Fate worse than purging, deletion, or formatting. How did you do that so easily, Rick? You dealt with two of them in a few moments. My sneaky fingers just know the right way to turn their hats. Get, get, get them to pop right off. Maybe you're getting too good. The small, sneaky one didn't like that. For a split second, something dangerous crawled across his expression. What are you implying, sis? You trying to do this with just ass, one big charge in his kaput? Calm down, and Attila, you did a fine job. Oh, no. Anyway, look, lamb, this is what the Grey Authority does to you. If you can't allow in your synapses and neurons to ponder unsocial thoughts. How do you like those upgrades? Don't let them get your hands, then the hands on you ever. There should be any. There shouldn't be any more of these zombies around. At least not while the power supply is so fragile. They'll be in the upper works. This is our chance, Square. You get to be a fire starter to burn down the neuro necromancer. <laughs> you will follow, or do I need to make you? I, I don't want. I don't want to give you all the evil eye, Lamb. You don't really have a choice, considering Booty's ability to compel you. Best to go with it for now. You got me. I'm in too deep. Don't be scared, Squire. Shut your mouth and follow. I'm still not fucking dead. The tunnels are claustrophobic. Hot, twisting knots of utility piping and wiring frame the miles long monotony. Tunnels like this lace around and through the Undercity, all with restricted access. What secrets are covered up in these places? I've not seen, I've not been this far in. Sinks of grease and copper. No worries, you, you, you know, I've been all around here, scattered all the nooks and crannies. Gossip abounds about these utility tunnels, mostly tales of techno Hades and new necromancers, not neuromancers, experimenting on obsolete technology. Monstrous things that haunt dreams with plague-ridden code and program the dead to rise and do their bidding. Tutorware often uses these stories to curtail the curiosity of children, to keep them safe behind authority firewalls. I hope it's making it's making you want a fighty fight and not giving you a fighty fight. I thought I thought the other guy was the thick one. You know me, no fighty fright. I've always had that fighty fight feeling. Pretty useless though, now, now with a dead charge. What the fuck? I think our new friend is getting that fighting feeling too. Just then, was a glassy flicker of fondness. Was that a glassy flicker of fondness in Booty's eyes? Mmm, you're showing me so much I was wrong about the... F 
Black Hats, look, I'm only here because you forced me. Can we get this over with and part ways as soon as we can? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go flatter. Flatter. Flatter all the way. How long we do we got to walk on for? My jewels are kaput. Not far. Not far. Almost there. Bear witness. The superintendent. The neuro necromancer. <laughs> Creator of zombies. Looks like uh, deep thought. Necromancers are computers. Well, it make, oh, hang on, that's not him. Necromancers are computers. Well, it makes sense. You remember images like this from your own shooting, schooling. These stoic custod custods, custodians, lights flashing with warmth and care, only to secure a comfortable and functional society. Well, that's what you thought. The air starts thickening. Nanites swarm out from the necromancer's techno hive. They are pinching me. I can't think. What's your excuse? What's your excuse the rest of the time? These nanites will corrupt all cyberware and chew all my meatware into mush. We are disposable to this computer tyrant, man. Is our new, is our new mate out of ideas? Do something. Dozen nips all over your body at once. Tiny, irritating things. It stings, almost like the static shocks of a kettling field. What will you do? Oh, nailed it. A heat blast. I need to empty the air of nanites, turn them into ash before tackling the necromancer. I'll frost the techno pest to leave them frozen and useless before tackling them. Well, we've used, we've used, we've, we've used freeze before. Heat blast is new. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna go with the heat blast. Fuck it. Flying like insects. Annoying pests. How do I? How do you? How do you like my? Uh, flying insect. Flying like insects. Annoying pests. How do you like my fly spray? Do you hear yourself? Less talking, more doing. Great. Great, lamb. Now blast the new necromancer too. <laughs> Fry it like a petrol flying bug burger. Get, get, get on with it. Uh, I can't even keep up with the bloody accents I've made from. I'll melt it into a sl into slag. It's working. Time to turn up the heat. Just a puddle of molten, oppressive overlord remains. Instantly the air feels fresher, even in this utility tunnel. You have just destroyed one of the symbols of authority run social utopia. Wise computers, ever compassionate in their logic, friend to all society minded people. And now you know it's all a load of grey. Now you know it is all a load of grey, nanite sludge. However, you are trembling, you need to rest. Okay, job. Okay, job. Looks like a teller is the biggest lump of dead weight again. He sneers and takes a deep drag of, drag of his cigarette. Don't comment, leave them to their own banter, both of them as bad as each other anyway. Defend a tiller. Alaric is really getting on your nerves. Well, to be honest, Alaric is kind of getting on my nerves. But I don't really want to defend a tiller. Because he's hit me a couple of times. He's not a nice guy. Um, I'm going to defend him anyway. Fuck it. We're all tired, scared. We've all fought, all fought against them now. Even me. It doesn't help if you keep putting people down. You what? Mind your own business or I'll snap your neck. He knows I'm playing. Don't you at her. Until her nods wearily, but his eyes hold a measure of irritation. Don't celebrate yet, black hats. Somehow we've been followed. More grey hats coming up from behind us. I can hear machines. Oh god, it goes on. I'm not dead yet. Oof. An army of them. Nonetheless, Scarpa. Onwards and upwards. That's a movie, you're lumbering off. No power left. No choice. Run. 
The local networks will be in crisis. They shouldn't be back so soon. We have a window for escape still. Since the frying, since frying the local necromancer, which means we can pass into the next sector untracked. The city, great idea, sis. Hang on, you've just discovered the fact that, that you are all powerful, haven't you? Why, why all this running? Time to act. I can't take on the whole authority. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Better safe than sorry. I'm already weak, too weak to fight anyway, yeah. So I'll go with the first option. Onward. Just run, don't look back. Hurry, they're catching us, don't look back. Your lungs scream, every fibre of your muscles dare you to stop. You gasp this hot, stale air. But you must run down endless tunnels, hoping upon hope that an escape presents itself. Uh oh. Curses, hindered at every turn, at a thunderfist time. My jewels are all gone, must rust soon, can barely stand. I'll blast the gate off, shouldn't take too much energy. Time to turn and face our hunters, I'll melt them with my sheer power, power extreme. That's it, I've had enough, I surrender. Ooh, I'm going to try blasting the gate off. I've already been running, so there's no point in turning around when there's another option available to us. Let's blast the gate off. By the power of the centralised grey authority, I have the power! Well, it worked. How satisfying it feels, this power thrumming inside you, buzzing in your ears. However, a disconcerting feeling of incompatibility lingers. Before you collapse, you steady, steady yourself against one of the larger utility pipes. Nobody notices, thankfully. You don't want to advertise your weakness. The Black Hats are too concerned with the newly created path to freedom. Yes! Oh, my hero! Ha! Booty bursts into laughter, mostly a laughter born out of relief, burning the edges of recent anxiety. A true Black Hat now! If you say so. Instead of Lamb or Squire, I'll name you Truant, like the zombie said. A Labour Truant. Thanks. I've never been to the over or outside city, not sure what to think. In a hideous place, ugly is beautiful. What? Chop chop then, enough squandering of nanoseconds, blabbing your sour nothings. Or we can wait here and be turned into asbestos zombies? No reason for that, question mark. Feeling peaky, Truant? Here, take my hand and I'll lead you into the light. Oh, it's pissing me down, typically. The Overcity, distinct from your enclosed borough and from the deep understreets, a place you have only seen in pictures, videos, or through education reality software. Even more fantastic than seeing the Overcity, though, is experiencing the rain, the piss. Water falling from the sky. Is it drinkable? No, probably not. It tastes rather unpleasant. Vinegary. Ugh. And it stings a bit too, too. As if the droplets are slapping against your skin. It's probably bad. The filter of rain mixes the view of the city into a washed out blur of neon colours and indistinct structures. Out here you have the sky, vastly reaching into the cosmos. Does the authority control that? For a moment, you consider falling upward, but the unpleasant roll of your stomach bids you to stifle such speculation. What do you think, Lamb? Sorry, I mean truant. Oh, my omnipresent AI is terrifying and damp, but exciting. It's just like the industry, except wet. Um, I'm going to go with the first option again. No oh, time for a tour, sis. Send him on his way and we'll disappear into the bright lights. He can skip home the long safe way down that side street. You know this place that well, Rick. Is this where you've been disappearing every to every few days? A new favourite lover droid in the body shops? Snigger. 
Hold your tongue. I'm sure they're joking, Rick. Alaric glares back at you with something hateful in his eyes. Calm down. Before we scarper, I suggest we take off our black hats and merge into city life for a bit. Actually, good call. We will wait till the heat dies down. I know a place us. A cafe that sympathises with the cause on the quiet. Rest of it. Charge up the fizz pop. Fuck's sake, I get away from these people. Similar to the KJ cafes common in your borough, this place looks slightly better kept though. Like all cafes, this place serves recharges, giving a sudden dual boost. However, the boost will result in sudden dual crash later, much like a good old fashioned coffee. Alright, my rebellious compatriots, plug in for a little buzz. I've got credit and a little obscure data of this place. On this place, sorry, to ensure the shash shash. Is it safe? Won't there be a KC KGA deficit? Too suspicious. Well, me and Axe are gonna charge up. Uh, they're ending up sounding the same, these two. Okay, just a bit. Only if you include truant. Curses, alright, plug in, you lucky damn it. Oh my, on, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, on my, on my, oh my, that rush of cages is immense. It feels like warm liquid zipping through your extremities. Thoroughly pleasant, refreshing. Oh, that's the ticket, giving the old jewel pockets and sockets a good scratch. I can feel the power, no, I can feel the peculation of what? I can feel the peculation of power, whatever that means. Mine isn't working. Neither is mine. Are you sure you ordered for me and Atta too? I feel silly now. You know these places. Half the stuff is kaput. Mine is fine. And looks like yours, your best, new best mate's one is working too, sis. Suddenly you feel too warm, too full, brimming with energy. You're unable to contain it all. Oh, shit. What the hurt? Ow, my wrist. It's him, that damn virus he plugged in. Now, look here, I'm sorry, but you forced me to plug in that damn disc. Bloody ruined it for all of us. Uh, pull out the wire. I don't give a fuck about annoying Alaric. Fuck him, he's an asshole. Let's pull out the wire and give it to, to Booty. You can have it, Booty. Calm down. No real harm done. Anyway, lest we figure out what we're going to do next. And you should have seen the look on your face, Rick. Here you are. I've got plenty to share. Chivalry. Be careful, sis. You might catch something. Make sure you keep the secur your security wear up. Ha <laughs> ha. That woke us all up, I think. Well, that's well, that's new. Okay, no matter. All right, we've been here long enough, and the rain stopped. Let's get going. We need to take Truant with us. Oh, fuck's sake, sis. We've got places to be. Send him on his way. He'll be fine. The grey hats will take him as soon as he goes back to his room. He missed his labour assignment, remember? Because of us. Atta can take him to a safe house, put him on the right track, make sure other black hats don't put his drone brains on the pike. We can all just... Don't be argumentative, Atta, Atta doesn't mind, warrior that he is. What say you, Atta? Uh... See? Over there, down the side street, third level, the third level of the office blocks at the other end. They'll pimp and primp and primp, primp and pep prep you for a few jobs on the side. True, trout and don't cry, you'll be safe. Us real black hats need to immerse ourselves in the humble entertainments of righteous freedom fighters this evening. Boudica rolled her eyes. Don't worry about it. It's it's if it's if it's such a big deal, I'll go with him. Look after him for the evening. Oh, oops. You and Hats toodle off then. Curses, no, I'll go. I know the quickest way. That's with me. Scamper off, booty. We need to split up. Finally, thank you. You know the way best, bro. Just keep our lamb safe. 
Booty puts her hand on your shoulder and gives a slight squeeze. Thanks for all the help. We'll see you again. You won't be able to go back to your old life now, but we'll keep our eyes on you. Just get a proper rest. Oh, fucking Nora. Uh, you need to take time to think about your life. Better to split up for now. For the Black Arts for safety and real value options. Why are they all so determined to split up? You should all stay together. Together you'll be able to take on everything that's thrown at you. I'm going to split up on the hope that I die. As Boudicca departs, an awkward silence fills the vacated space. Well, that's us three then. Big fella, little fella and me. Hmm... Okay, Atta and Rick. Down the side street, yes? Hush, follow Alaric. Yes, Squire. We move quick and quiet and split up and go our own ways. You follow Alaric into the more pleasant side streets of the Over City. Periodically, Alaric scampers ahead. At these times, he holds his hands out to bid you to stop before activating his stealth wear. Phasing into the background, you imagine he's scouting the safest route. He always reappears within a few minutes, beckoning you and Attila forward. However, after one of these mini scouting missions, Alaric just waits for you to catch up. He seems twitchy. Alaric, why are you stopping? You said we must hurry. You said you know the way. Of course I do, Squire. But listen, I've really got to talk to my sis. Matter of mortality and all that. That's, I'm off. You go the rest of the way, yeah? Uh, Attila, we can do it. I'm on your side. I'm sure you, you're up to something, Alaric. Booty told you to come with us. I'm, I don't care about Alaric. Fuck him. Let's go with Attila. I have no jewels. My thunder points drained my excess and reserves. Come on, my man. You're a brute. No one will dare trouble you. I'll catch you later. Hmm. You're always scalping off these days. Don't be like that. We're a team. We've got each other's back. Send it back anyway. Alric presents a hand to Attila. 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 Stares, grumbling. Reluctantly, he grabs, grabs Alric's hand and shakes it. And you, Squire, don't burst his fuse or we'll make mincemeat out of you. With a wink, Alric disappears back up the main street. Something a bit too confident marks out his walk. Alric seems certain of his safety. It rankles your suspicions. What's more, crowd management systems wait patiently on the walls of this in this street. Presently inactive, but always threatening. Just you and me, big fella. We must be careful. Hmm. Shush. Follow. That is all. Oh, hey, we could die here. A kettling force field? Various news feeds have reported the use of these kettling fields. Historically used during riots to bottle up discontents and radicals, however, they have been used to forcibly res restrict access to various parts of the city. They know we are here. How? I thought they lost to ability to track us after I melted the necromancer. It's behind us too. Something bad is going down. Alaric, we need help. That Alaric is long gone. Big surprise there. The wall just grew guns. They're going to shoot us at her. If I melted those things, we'd still be trapped behind the force field. Some kind of crowd control wagon is, hey, maybe I'll fucking die and go to bed. Um, some kind of crowd control wagon has pulled up now. We've got to give up. Ah, damn them! Gunfire shreds across Attila's body, although it seems to, to deliberately avoid his head at all costs. I want to fight them. He slips to the ground, body shaking, cyberware malfunctioning. Stop, please. It's all happening too quickly. You're blocked from in from all sides, but the fact that the guns have targeted Attila before you has gifted you a moment of action. Use your magic to shield yourself and fight back with heat and ice. A full, dis full on display of new upgrades. You can't hope to win all but count back against all this. But although you might be surrounded down here, what if you escape via upward? Like a plane, helicopter, or one of those old birds that used to dot the skies. I'm going to try that one. Fly, up, zoom, fast as, as fast as a rocket. Oh, my omnipresent AI. 
air rushes past your ears. The wind whistles around you, whittling away the dangers threatening your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my. Concentrate. A cushion of hot air seems to propel you skyward. A cloud of nanites, perhaps, defying the laws of gravity. Keep focusing. Don't stop. Don't stop. What's that? An evening star? A satellite? A hotel orbital crashing to Earth? By grey authority, it's heading right at me. Ah! <sighs> Doctored. Take another doctor's, yeah. Excess of cyberware clicks and hums, she's too modified to be a common techno doc. You've got to get out of here, but unsurprisingly, hard rubber straps hold you down. Time to aid society instead of trying to disrupt it. Struggling, tugging at your bonds is useless. Your muscle fibers feel like snapping under even minimal effort. You become short of breath, woozy as if poisoned. Injected toxins must be flooding your body, leaving you weak. I'm going to pluck, nip, and tuck all your synapses and neurons. Please, no, I've learned my lesson. You try to activate your upgrades, but nothing happens. Medicated, in shock, and in a panic, you are unable to conjure up enough focus and grit to defend yourself. You will be turned into a top-of-the-line pro-social exemplar. You will do as you are told, instantly, and you will, ev will be ever grateful for your new, for new commands. Welcome to the centralised Grey Authority. What is that? I can't... What? Yeah, I, you, me, they, them, us, we... Catastrophic error, reboot, re... Oh dear. Got her with my last jewels. Fried their circuit synapses with my evil eye. That's not her name, but that's not her voice. Thank you, you saved my life. Fuck's sake. I don't know how I even got here. I can barely think. God almighty, this goes on and on and on. Can I save it here? We'll save it here. Because I'm getting really, really tired and... No, we'll just keep going. Hopefully I'll die soon. <sighs> we were all arrested. But I charmed the assistants, the drone workers. I mashed up their coding and got myself up and out. But all my power is kaput now. If you hadn't shared your jewels with me, I'd have been zombified for sure. A moment's awkward silence hangs between you. Booty is the first to break it. We have to find Alaric and Attila. I need your help. I'm sure Alaric is in league with the Greyhounds. He betrayed you. Look, I like you, but he's my brother. Stop that talk, please. Clear your head, get ready for a fight, and let me deal with him. Are you going to help me or not? Ugh. Yes, I'll help regardless of what I think about Alaric. Working together is our best chance for survival. I trust you, but not him. He'll get us all killed, booty. I need to take him down first for all our sakes. We'll go with the top one. He must be careful. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of my upgrades. It's doing something bad to my inner coding, I swear. We'll all be careful then. Come on, Truant. Oh, God. It is still going on. <laughs> you find yourself... Oh, no. You find yourself in a small corridor looking out of windows framed by the jagged metal. An orange sky whips past at speed. We're flying. You're right. In a surveillance star, a dream control centre. Dread control centre. Someone very high up is running this. The stars. Floating courts, laboratories and archives are home to archivists, observers, judges and custodians of law and tradition. Morning, evening or even at the dead of night, always the stars twinkle while monitoring the city. Always gathering information, gossip and rumours. Dangerous data is uttered utterly destroyed by their machinations and applications. How are we ever going to get off this thing? What's that? A soft shuffling from the next room. Listen, Booty, hear that noise? Oh, fucking... Weirdly quiet, a grey hat lurches, lurches towards you. It's a big one, twitchy and vacant looking. Freshly made and worryingly familiar. 
You are all guilty of a plethora of antisocial crime against the greater good. Stumbling backwards, your heart skips a beat. It's a tiller. No, it, it no, it can't be. He said plethora. That's not an utter word. The creature looks on, eyes blinking with interference, armor pulsing with in heat, with heat. I'm sorry. They've zombified him. Booty's natural eye swells, her breath captures. If you looked carefully enough, you could see her hands trembling. Come with me now. The archive will see you and sentence you. Maybe I can freeze him? No, I will not hurt Attila. She pauses in thought, eyes never leaving Attila's. But don't you see, Truant? We get to meet a big boss archivist. Maybe we'll be shown where Al Alaric is. Maybe we'll be able to talk to the boss, convince it of our cause. Her words are irrational, yet this archivist might indeed be a way out. Maybe even someone who is able to delete all those uh, all these outrageous recent events, if you so wanted. Maybe you'll be able to reload and start again from this morning and get to work on time. Too many maybes. You said you would help me. Okay, but I'm keeping my guard up. Ooh. The room hums with energy, surrounded by a mass of wires. A huge man sit, sits in judgment. He has been modified beyond human. Wires transmit directly inside his brain. An industrial-style furnace burns where his stomach should be. Set up to look regal, his size and slovenly posture betray a man of immobile decadence. Welcome to my flying court. You are all exciting glitches. I have been absorbing the information feeds about you. Delicious. Where's my brother? Both of you siblings from a long line of bad personality coding were bound to be mine one day. <laughs> but your brother has, been, has made the correct choices lately. Come out, say hello to your family, here he fucking comes, the son of a bitch. Alaric, I need no introduction. Your voice, it's coming from that hideous man, why are you connected to his network? I saved our skin, paid tribute, <laughs> if it's coming out of him, paid tribute, when they came knocking, dealt, with, dealt them bits and bytes of data, else we'd all be lobotomized. Is that what they did to Attila? What do you mean? Of course not. They turned him into a grey hat, you fool. Look! Alaric stares with his interference laced eyes. It takes him a moment to recognise the large grey hat between you and Booty. Alas, poor Attila, scoundrels. Your lies are the spice of the data streams. You know that this world exists. Within a hologram of half lies at all times, don't feel remorseful. I devour all inconvenient half truths, compress them into corrupted nonsense within my mind. Or I feed off of them, or I feed off them, turn them into the very jewels of my being inside the furnace of my desires, put them to socially approved use for the betterment of us all. Purge the sins of your souls. Plug in to remove those uncomfortable memories forever. Feed me now. Squire, you enjoyed the cafe. Yes, yes, true. We should give in, right? Plug ourselves in. Grab our wire. I don't like the sound of that. If you control the sensations of your upgrade, if you control the sensations of your upgrades, because perhaps you can strike out at the ar archivist. Why would you plug in and connect to this creature? If he likes furnaces so much, you can show him what a roasting in a real furnace feels like. Well, both of those are saying don't go in anyway, so... I'm going to try and strike out. Well, you can have this. I want to forget it all anyway. You grab one of the myriad of loose wires. Connect it. What? Why am I connecting it? I said, don't do that. 
The disc with the snake logo rep remains a haunting presence, a remainder of a threat waiting within your code. A threat that, that you are about to unleash again. How's it taste, big fella? Awareness creeps through the webs of wires, possessing them, claiming them as an extension of your control. Only two of them, but that's all you need. You plug the two wires free. Pluck the two wires free from the nest. <coughs> Got him. I've knocked the power out. Booty, are you there? Hello? Is this real? Sensory overload, a glitch, glitch through your hardware, a symptom of your corruption, perhaps? A hard reboot required. Booty, where are you? Oh, God. Am I imagining things? Rip out the disc. Rip it out. But you can't feel your fingers, arms, or hands, or arms. <laughs> However, you do feel a shudder pass over your cyber soul. You have proven worthwhile. That piece that doesn't quite fit. You, you, oh, I should, I should get his net voice around. You now control a whole surveillance star. We will download your being into the Hall of Future Deities after we claim it from the fallen authority. You will be reforming, reborn in any form you want and live forever. We just ask one final sacrifice to finish the Grey Authority for good. I don't understand any of this. Just know, Sonny, that glory awaits. You merely have to pilot this aircraft into the central power hub. Send us all back to the Dark Ages. Leave their central network unpowered and defenceless. I can't do that. I'm cracking under the strain. Do you have a choice now? Unsteady on your legs, the world creeps back into vision. It is not a welcoming sight. God, what can I? What do I do now? A loud thump draws your attention to Attila's limp body. It seems that the power out crashed his processors. We got to help him. There must be something in the operating room. Truant, you must help him. Alaric just stands there, staring for once, clueless. Help me move him. Alaric, now this is your fault. You grab Attila by his arms, while Alaric and Booty take, each take a leg. A solid, heavy dead weight, your crew inelegantly bumps and barges their way through the surveillance star. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I'm going to end up going at the right to the fucking end here. Listen, listen. Right, so he's not connected to him anymore, so he can get his own voice back. Listen, Squire, we can save Attila. Help me plug him into Grey Hat Hardware, the Mind Maker. Me and Booty will upload all our memories of him, every part of his personality. Will that even work? We've got to try. He's as hard as chromium. But less brittle. Just drag him into here. Hook him up and I'll connect to him. Alaric twists and disconnects Attila's Grey Hat. With considerable effort, you find you help him hook his friend up to the Mind Maker. Wires coil and connectors connect to the many new sockets and parts inside Attila's skull. Here goes my black hat, brother in arms. Black hat, always. Black hats, always. Sis, I will be incommunicado for all time. And Truant, a question. After all this, what are all your what are your plans? Um, get away from you all find a spot and settle in peace and quiet whatever happens I'll black out now yeah we'll go with that one my gratitude well whatever plugging in now Like a puppet with cut strings. Uh, why am I doing it in that voice? Like a puppet with cut strings, Alaric drops to the floor. An electric hum provides soothing accompaniment to the sudden calm. Just you and Booty remain now to decide what to do next. What are we going to do now? It's all such a mess. I'm still connected to this place and I have an idea. We're wanted. Our faces will be transmitted over the whole city, over the whole planet, too. Only extreme options are left for, left to us. I'm ready to trust you. 
You've got to get us out of get us all get us all out of here. Tell me, what's the plan? I'm controlling this star now. We need a destination. Maybe we should escape. Fly away to one of the colonies. Just an idea. Escape is an option. The way I see it, we have two other choices. We can bring down the system or confront the Grey Authority directly. You don't trust that weird old man, you should go straight to the Hall of Deities and cover the mysteries where the Great Authorities' computers are either stop them lording over the city, we run, escape up into space, we bring down the whole system, we take out the central power hub. Ooh, I don't want to do that one. I'm sort of I'm unsure about these two. I kind of want to do that. I don't trust that old man. But I do want to bring down the whole system. Because I don't want to live forever. Who wants to live forever, right? Let's do it. I have been manipulated by everyone and everything. It all started with that smelly old man. I know what to do now. We go straight into the lion's den. That's what they least expect. But what about... But what about Alaric? I know he let us down. But he had no choice but to follow the course now. In fact, we all have no choice but to trust each other. I worry more about Attila. I guess if anything can sort him out, it will be the computers in the Hall of Future Deities. Hurry then, my time is running short. By the power of the Grey Authority, we have the power! Indeed. Both of you lose your footing as the star accelerates through the pollution thick ozone. The city blurs into bright streaks across dark smudges. It is exhilarating. Oh my. Glimpses at you. Glimpsing, oh, glimpsing at you, a smile reaches across Bodhi's face. Bodhi's face. Bodhi's bodies, bodies, bodies. You smile back, the recent tension collapsing when you both burst out in laughter. <laughs> oh, it looks like I've, uh, I've beaten the game. I've won the game. It takes less than an hour to reach the crackling, lightning shrouded. Lighting, lightning shrouded towers. These are the protective shells housing the central computers, their deity level processes running every facet of city life. Here we are. Like when you faced the necromancer, the techno hives released nanites as a security measure. But these are different, cutting edge, fully evolved. What's that beeping noise? I can feel my evil eye. It's working. How? Connection re-established. This is your approved Dreamware speaking as your subconscious and conscience. All unapproved systems, system per processes have been purged. Oh dear. Booty, something's happening. Your guardianware, securityware, firewalls, ice walls and defences have been purged. They found me. Hashtag 3... 238894F Your behaviour has breached the terms and condition of social acceptability You great authority cyber protection licence has been prematurely has prematurely expired Omnipresent AI help You are banished to the wilds beset by malicious code Held up as a cautionary tale to all in this way you will serve the social good I'm itching all over I can't see. Wait, the ugly old man at the NRG train station said something about extra protection. If he was telling the truth, that is. As your faculties disintegrate, you delve deeper into your coding, an inner journey some might describe as zen. And there it is, a pinging string of last resort to crash your mind and, well, reset, reboot to your last slept-on state. 
O omnipresent AI, shutting down. Jesus Christ, I can't get, can't get to the end here. Your world turns into nothing but blue. For a few microseconds, you become that color, with no understanding of anything else. Then your mind drive and cyberware kick back in. A moment's respite. You have control again. 101%. But you are vulnerable. You need to move. Get out of here and away from the hell of future deities. But where to? The old man's upgrade I saved your life. Time to trust him. Fly to the hub and burn the whole thing down. The world is beset by malicious corruption. We must escape and start a new life in a colony world. No, I'm going to trust the old man now. It's time to trust him. Burn the whole thing down. Truant, are you okay? Wake up, get up. Attila's gone. And we're at the hub, all, all about to be torn to shreds. A tremendous storm of energy crackles around you, heat and spark of power lash across the star. Even now, the internal structures start to warp. Buckling as temperatures rise, temperature rises, as the temperature rises. We will meet him again. Just one thing left to do. What are you doing now? Are you crazy? You're going to kill us. Elric, stop him. You don't understand. We will all be reborn. Stop! So right. Sis, it's what Attila said too. Whatever happens now, we bring them down. It's all over. Is this all I have left? Nothingness? What's this? Booty? Alaric? Attila? You lost your grey hat? Welcome to Godhood. We are the system now. The ones, the zeros, and everything in between. Oh, that was a strange man. Excuse me. Feel it, Druin. The whole system. Like extra fingers and toes. We control it all. Every process is ours if we choose. Great power, great responsibility. No pain, no more violence if we want. We are the computers in the Hall of Future Deities now. All of us, chosen ones. Those who broke free of expectations. I picked you, an inefficient citizen, this destined for the Grey Hats, a glitch stuck between off and on. Something the authority wouldn't expect. I don't know what to make of it. Just think about it. What type of clay are we going to make, Truant? And remember, the only limit is your imagination. Thanks for playing. I fucking beat it. I defeated the fucking game. You got through your day. Hey, and what a day. You started off being late for work and then ended up remaking the world. No one could call you an underachiever. Game over. Ooh -wee. Deity. A good ending. Ending of 5 of 18. That'll do me. Ooh. Oh. Perfect timing. It's 11 o'clock. Brilliant. Well, not so brilliant. It was alright, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's going to be the end of the stream. So let's say the um, the outro. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't been watching, you can't be thanked. Farewell. <laughs>